I just want to start by thanking the organizers of the, the conference for putting on a great inaugural event. And I want to thank all the prior speakers for uh, providing so much thought-provoking, great, great ideas. You know, I, I, I'm just blown away sitting in the audience. And frankly, I feel kind of taken aback being uh, the last speaker tonight, uh, given how many great speakers have come before me. So with that said, it's an honor to be with you here today. I'm going to talk a bit about my personal journey and some of the things I've learned along the way as I figure out what I do when I grow up. And to help illustrate these ideas, I'm going to use photos that I've taken during the past decade of expedition adventure travel. My path as an entrepreneur, as you've heard, is more than a bit circuitous. I, uh, I started as a medical doctor, practicing rural emergency room and family medicine across Al northern Alberta uh, for the better part of a decade. And overlapping with that, I co-founded and was CEO of a video game developer, Bioware, which grew from three medical doctors working in a basement to a half billion US dollars a year annual revenue with a couple thousand employees across eight locations while running a division of a public company, Electronic Arts. In my latest career chapter, I've become an angel investor and an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial mentor in social enterprise, medical innovations, and information technology, focusing on impact investments. Uh, those, are, those are investments with both social goals and financial goals, so kind of a, a two-fold approach. And um, the lessons I've learned across these three fairly diverse career chapters seem to translate across different industries from the entrepreneurs I've spoken to and, um, and the ones I'm mentoring and, and different career roles and have given me the confidence to move forward even when I don't have full clarity on where I'm headed. And I hope they'll be useful to you as well. Now, when you start a new career or change careers, sometimes the path forward is not entirely clear. And whether you're a new grad or changing careers for the first, the second, or the nth time, it can often feel pretty lonely out there. Sometimes the road to follow is just downright hard. It can feel like a real uphill battle at times. And there's some scary stuff out there, which you may not immediately see, or even if you do see it, you may not have the understanding immediately on how to deal with it. With all that said, and with some aspects of entrepreneurship being downright daunting at times, why do it? Well, one of the compelling elements about being an entrepreneur, which it shares with medical practice and with investment, impact investment at least, is that the path forward isn't always clear, and, and yet meaningful and important complex and interesting problems need to be solved, and that's really fun. Even the biggest problems need to be broken down and tackled one step at a time. It's not always clear who's affected. Um, in this case, you see a massive tabular iceberg with a small colony of penguins struggling to get to clamber aboard. And uh, much as with an iceberg, sometimes not all the problem is visible. Much of it may be below the surface, and the path forward may not be clear. So you may need to take a closer look and break down the problem into smaller pieces that can be more easily tackled. You'll find it often comes down to the strength of the individuals around you. Tackling tough problems can require a sustained, aligned team effort. As an entrepreneur and investor, I've learned how critical it is to build a great team around you. It makes everything easier and it reduces risk. It's fundamental. To succeed in your chosen path, it's it's vital to surround yourself with a strong, diverse team comprised of individuals who share your values and who will stick with you even in tough times, who also will tell you what they think, always, and work together on shared goals to achieve a common vision. Diversity of backgrounds and opinions can lead to conflict, but it's critical. But this conflict can be quite healthy if you always treat everyone around you with great respect and over-communicate. So don't shy away from actively seeking to listen to new approaches and ideas. It's really, really vital. Resolving conflict is a complex process. It can take a lot of time to get right. But it's necessary to be patient and persistent in identifying the causes for what is, are usually valid differences in opinion. Organizations experience sometimes dramatic change as they evolve over time. I've gone through this a bunch, a bunch myself. And this can lead to conflict sometimes through simple misunderstandings, confusion on what's important, prioritization. So this type of change needs to be carefully managed. Clear, honest, frequent communication is vital in a growing organization. Trying new things, learning from our mistakes, 
and learning from those around us who have different perspectives and experience is how we all learn and grow. Don't be afraid to make mistakes or to change your mind if you get new information. Humility is a vital concept. It's, it's incredibly powerful. Uh, to me, it means admitting when you're wrong and being always open to new ideas. Humility is unfortunately not something that everyone strives for. You'll meet a range of people in your, your travels. Not everyone you're gonna encounter will be a supporter, particularly if you're trying to do something different or innovative. They may even mock you for trying to do something new. Perhaps even worse, not everyone will be willing to tell you what they think. So you need to encourage those on your teams and those around you, your colleagues, your friends, your family, to speak their minds. Because people voicing their opinions and turning those thoughts into action is how positive change occurs across the world. Or at least it's how that spark starts to enable that change. Sometimes people may be even actively watching you, hoping you'll fail. They may tell you that what you're attempting is impossible or that you don't have the experience to achieve your goals. Remember to focus on the task at hand and don't be distracted. Advice is rare and precious. Be willing to take advice from mentors when you encounter it. Otherwise, it may not be there when you need it later. I was always wondering what that shop sold. <laughs> I made a good photo, though. So. But even as you listen to and consider the advice of others around you, don't be afraid to be you. Stepping outside the box is a key part of achieving innovation. It's how we learn. It's how we obtain new knowledge. Learning and growing your skills is fun. Something I've experienced across all three of my career chapters thus far is that as you change roles, how you think about and solve problems also needs to change and evolve. As you advance in your roles as a leader, remain humble and acknowledge that your approach needs to adapt to those changing roles. Sometimes a given leadership style can be appropriate in some situations, while st still quite inappropriate in others. For example, how, how you think, lead, and make decisions will necessarily evolve as you move forward in a career. I've seen these styles categorized in various ways. And one way to categorize them is as, as decisive, hierarchical, flexible, integrative. Uh, there's a great Harvard Business Review article called The Season Executive's Decision-Making Style. It's from February 2006, uh, and it describes them in great detail. It's really, really interesting. It's important to realize that all of these leadership styles are valid approaches at different times, with the optimal style chosen depending on the circumstances, the complexity and novelty of the problem, and how large an organization or team is being managed. One of the first things I learned as a student intern, and then again as an intern and as a resident and practicing ER and family med physician, and then again many times as an entrepreneur and as an investor later, is that keeping track of details and maintaining clarity on goals is essential to achieve quality. This is true no matter what role or seniority you have in an organization, and it's even more relevant when you're trying new things. You have to pay attention to the details and metrics, ensuring you're still on target for the strategic goals, but also remain humble and acknowledge when you're not sure what direction you have to go. This can help prevent you from heading into dangerous waters or off a cliff. Innovation is never easy. Hubris, not taking advice when you could really use it, or just not paying attention to what's important could lead to negative consequences, whether you're an entrepreneur, an investor, or a medical doctor. The external environment can surprise you, not always in good ways. Sometimes so-called black swan events appear. And these can, if not mitigated, swallow you whole. But these are offset by strokes of good fortune. A lot of success in life as an, as an entrepreneur can be attributed to, being, to ensuring you're there to catch the apples which fall your way at the right moments and navigating through and managing the potential downside risk from black swan surprises. You need to take luck wherever you can get it as success in life is a lot about persistence, uh, mitigating the downside, capitalizing on the upside opportunities, trying again and again with your team alongside you. As a doctor, and uh, then as an entrepreneur, and now as an investor and mentor, I've seen the importance of patience even in the face of urgent problems. Sometimes you need to take the time to fully assess the situation, consult your advisors, and ensure you know what's going on. As an investor, time is one of the best tools in your arsenal as it allows you to see an entrepreneurial team's say-do ratio, 
how, they, how what they do measures up against what they said they do. Flip that around and, and think about how it applies to your own careers. And you'll realize that what you say matters. Your word is your bond. Uh, this principle of integrity, which I, I, I always see as a parallel concept to humility, external honesty and internal honesty, is essential in building trust at, in any career type or stage. At the same time, you can't wait too long to make decisions. The US Marine Corp has a saying that I like, they're 70% solution. If you've done 70% of the, if, sorry, if you have 70% of the information, have done 70% of the analysis, and feel 70% confident, then don't wait, act. While strategic, specific, measurable goals are useful, I've never had a detailed set of career goals at any of the stages of my various careers uh, thus far. Instead, I've always tried to follow more of a, a Taoist approach, not really seeking to define a specific uh, outcome in life, but instead striving to go somewhere interesting and somewhere good. And that's allowed me to successfully change careers three times thus far. In my opinion, it's important to enjoy the journey as much as, if not more than the destination. And your destination may well change, and this can be a good thing at times. A career in the modern world has much akin to entrepreneurship. We need to be flexible, uh, adaptable, team-oriented, and willing to take chances and try new things to progress. It's worthwhile to explore because sometimes the most interesting things are just around the corner. While on your own journeys, remember to enjoy the small moments with your colleagues, your family, and your friends. Take the time to do so and always maintain a sense of wonder and delight at the new things you encounter. And perhaps most important, don't forget your family and friends as you throw yourself into your careers. At the end of the day, remember that a balanced life is essential to happiness on a sustained basis and success. Your family can be some of the most supportive people on your team, so you want to make sure that they're there in your corner when you really need them. There will be times when you face great uncertainty, fear and self-doubt, and setbacks and failure, and need to pause to regroup. This could be related to money. It could be related to interpersonal conflict. It could be related to sustained chronic stress, health or family issues, business challenges, persecution. Remember, this is a normal part of progressing in your career as an entrepreneur. It's something I faced, at least some elements of it, uh, many times over the years, and you will as well in different ways. Be ready for it and know that it's normal to feel this way at times of great stress, and you're not alone. In these tough times, remember to focus on the things that help ground you in your family and your personal life. Uh, lean on your family, lean on your friends. Remember to try and stay healthy and recognize that sometimes you need to step back to gain new perspective. One way to look at your career choices is akin to lighting a path forward. It's a candle for yourself and for those around you. And you can help light the way forward, and you have to try. Being willing to tackle tough problems, being able to pull together an aligned team, and helping them move forward successfully will help you in any role, large or small. If you remember to focus on one thing at a time and not lose sight of the big picture, Eventually, you'll achieve your goals, including probably many that you haven't even thought of as possibilities at the outset. I can look back now at my first three career chapters and see a common thread. It's a chronologic journey of lifelong learning, where I'm always striving to work with passionate, smart, hardworking people who share the same values. This model, figuring out your ikigai, may be relevant to you as well, as you think about where you want to go next in your own careers and life journeys as you think about where you, what you're passionate about and where you can add value in the world. And there's lots of information about that online. As a final note, don't forget to be humble. Share the credit. Celebrate your successes with your friends, your family, and your team. And always enjoy your journeys, no matter where they take you. I wish you all the best as you pursue your own paths forward. Thank you. <laughs>